Hey what's going on guys, it's Tom here back today with another video talking today about the Black Ops 2 Assault Rifles. I'm going to be giving you my opinion on all the Assault Rifles that are going to be coming to Black Ops 2. I was very lucky enough to actually play quite a lot of the game and made sure I used absolutely every gun in the game so I can give you a kind of fair view of mine of actually all the guns that are in the game today. As I said, I'm going to be covering the Assault Rifles and I am going to be giving you all the information you need to know about Black Ops 2 before it gets released. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and if you do enjoy this video guys make sure to drop a like, it really helps out my channel. I actually got some Black Ops gameplay in the background where actually I think I did really well with uh, you know three of the strongest assault rifles that are in the game, the AK-47, G11 and the FAMAS, you know, picking up guns I think I went on like a 25 kill streak. And if any of you guys watched the video all the way through, let me know how many kills I actually get on this little streak right here, but I wanted to kind of go through first, tell you all the guns that are going to be coming to Black Ops 2, you know, from when I played it and then give you my view on them. So we have the M8A1, the SCAR-H, the AN-94. The SIG 556, the Type 25, the SA58, the SMR, the M27, and the MTAR. So I'm actually going to go through these one by one, give you guys my thoughts and opinions on them. So the first one we have is the M8A1, and this was initially thought to be known as the XM8. It's going to be called the M8A1 in the final cut of the game, and by default it is a four round burst assault rifle. A four round burst is actually a very interesting kind of thing, because generally in the past we've only really had you know the three round burst in like the M16 and maybe the mass in Modern Warfare 2, those are some of the three round burst guns that we've had in the past, but a four round burst is actually really interesting because you know, typically it only takes three bullets to kill someone with an assault rifle, meaning that, you know, when you have those three round burst guns, they were okay, you know, but you had to land every bullet on the opponent. Whereas with this four round burst, even if just three of the four rounds actually are only on point, it means you're actually still going to kill the opponent. So I think in that sense, it's, it's quite interesting. I do think the M8A1 is going to be a really good gun. It is going to be a good assault rifle. And, you know, the time between burst is actually quite quick as well. It did kind of remind me a little bit of the G11, a gun that you're going to see in this gameplay. One thing I should mention is that there is the select fire attachment in the game, meaning that any gun can be changed from burst fire to fully automatic or from fully automatic to burst fire, so that's going to you know, play some part in the game and I'm pr mainly going to be talking about the guns in their default forms. Next we have the SCAR H, and the SCAR H is one of the best assault rifles in Modern Warfare 3, probably in Modern Warfare 2 as well once you stack extended mags on it. Good thing about the SCAR H in this year's game is that it is going to have 30 rounds in the magazine by default, meaning that it's not going to be a necessity that you have extended mags on to do well, so really pleased about that, that's improving from Modern Warfare 2. Unfortunately, the damage just isn't there like it is in the previous games, and this actually wasn't one of the best assault rifles that was in the game. One I want to talk about quickly is the M Tar. This is basically the same as the Tar 21 from Modern Warfare 2. So many people's favourite gun in that game, you know, it's a huge, huge fan favourite. And from what I kind of played, it wasn't doing it for me. I don't know what was going on, the damage just wasn't there. For me, it just wasn't working. You know, maybe it's just I was having an off day with that gun, but you know, it felt like one of the worst assault rifles in the game. Really hope it doesn't translate to that in the game. And but from what I played, it was one of the worst assault rifles. I'm really sorry to tell you guys that. Next we have the SIG 556. Again, this by default is a three-round burst assault rifle reminds me very much of the m16 you know how it's been in you know black ops you know modern warfare 2 that kind of thing pretty standard assault rifle and there isn't too much to say about it type 25 is the next one this is going to be one of the best assault rifles i can tell you guys now fully automatic in this year's game obviously we have the type 95 modern warfare 3 which was a burst fire gun by default the type 25 is pretty much a fully automatic type 95 from modern warfare 3 Next gun we have here is the SA58. This is okay, it's semi-automatic by default. Pretty much reminds me of the FN FAL from Modern Warfare 2, and that's pretty much how it's going to play in the game. Quite high damage, it's not actually the most powerful assault rifle. The most powerful assault rifle is the next one, it's the SMR, and again, this is a semi-automatic assault rifle. Reminds me very much of the FAL from Black Ops, and also kind of like the M14 from Black Ops. It's only going to be two shots to kill at most distances, and you might even get a one-shot kill if you get a headshot at close range. Another gun we have here is the M27. Now the M27 reminds me very much of the M4 from the previous games. Also the Commando from Black Ops. You know, the original Black Ops had the Commando. That was one of my favourite saw rifles and that's what the M27 reminded me of. And yeah, it's pretty much going to play like the Commando, like the M4. It's going to be a kind of, you know, decent gun. You know, it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be very versatile, can be used in many situations. It's going to be kind of like the stock assault rifle that you can use in, you know, the most situations. But I don't think it is going to be the best assault rifle in the game. Now the final gun I'm going to be covering and the gun that I did think was the best assault rifle in my opinion from when I was playing the game and it's the AN-94 and I'm actually really pleased to be saying this because the AN-94 is a bit similar to the AK-47 I know a lot of people have been saying that it's the kind of future version of the AK-47 you know that's wrong guys the AK-47 and the AN-94 both exist today in real life you know and they're going to be existing in 2025 according to Black Ops 2 but yeah the AN-94 for me it was you know it was working the best for me you know 
I've got to say that all the guns do have recoil and this does have the kind of typical AK-47 recoil that we've seen in the past. I do think the iron sights aren't very like the AK-47, you know, there's quite a big difference there. One really interesting thing with this gun is that the first two bullets fires at a faster fire rate than the others, so if you kind of tap the trigger with this, you know, you know, feather the trigger, kind of shoot in burst, you're actually going to do really well with this gun. That's one thing I was doing because it works both ways, you know, it controls the recoil and you get that faster fire rate. So for me, you know, this was working really well. I was using it to get people out of, you know, tough spots, you know, people that were kind of head glitching in windows. This wasn't a problem and this gun was, you know, really beastly for me. So going to be really looking forward to using the AN94 when the game comes out on November 13th. So anyway guys, that's my opinions on the Assault Rifles coming to Black Ops 2. I think the Assault Rifles are going to do really well. They're going to be up there with the SMGs as the strongest guns in the game. So anyway guys, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you're still here and you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like guys. It really helps me out. Drop a comment below. Let me know which of the Assault Rifles you're looking forward to using the most. Check out a couple of my previous videos. Got those on screen right now. I'll catch you guys with another video very soon. Objective parameters obtained.